Hi guys, welcome back to Stand Dog Gaming. I apologize for the last episode. Uh, I actually forgot to put the video in that actually had my intro and my outro in it. So that's why you didn't have the intro and the outro in that one. But I now understand what I did wrong and everything should be fine. I should be able to do this without any disregard because the last time I had... Uh, something come up so I wasn't able to fully finish and flesh out what we're doing. Anyway, let's continue on. I am actually really enjoying this storyline of Steph. It's very interesting. Okay, so it's been a bit. I can't actually remember what I gotta do. <laughs> That's actually pretty bad. Okay, yeah, so we've done the swipe atonement. We've talked to. Okay, yeah, we've talked to them. Uh, Telefood. Okay. So it didn't save at that point, so I've still gotta do. Damn, I still gotta do the foosball score again. Oh, I gotta do the foosball score again. I'll catch up with you eventually, Chen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally might, for last I still might lose. Match. I still might lose now. Man, that game was something else. Right, replay the game. Okay, let's hope I can um win it this time. <laughs> still win it this time, because remember last time I won it. Uh, no, continue. You're getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. No! No! Hey. Whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, dude! I said not don't to think, think about, about it. it. I goo love goo that. Ga -ga stuff. <laughs> Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. <laughs> wow, Steph! Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, how's the fake psychic gig? Oh, oh. damn! What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. I did better. My than hands last time. were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. I did better than last time. My does. first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't think about Jeff. I have a goo goo gaga stare. I love that. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. Goo goo gaga stuff. <laughs> I love that. Sweet. Rare and valuable. Ugh. I'm just gonna pretend that all the mice moved out and went to Mouse College by now. Okay. Free them! Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. To your future, Dave. Change a lot of comments, by the way. Wouldn't stash Irish cream off. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, Pac Man, base Pac Man goes. Whatever you call that thing. Well, Illuminati, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Guess I should look around the store. Sticker beam. That's not even close to enough stickers. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts. That's you? actually really cool. Oh, good. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. Oh, man. Better leave that here, or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> uh, oh, tab. 
that's what I wanted. Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. Hmm. Those shades are undeniably star-shaped. I hate that I actually find this funny. <laughs> Thanks, I vape. <laughs> now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Fewer, yes, but so many remain. So very many. Drew this with Ethan. That kid is surprised. Damn it, past Dave. Damn it, past Dave. Hmm. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something so else? So weird seeing stuff without the beady. Oh, let's go necromancer. Let's give these kids something worth running from. Nice. Nailed it. Nice. Nailed it. Say what you will about the 80s. Synth base was a gift to humanity. Sick GTO. The Gators. I wonder if these are supposed to connect to something in the store. Maybe records? Well, if Hungover Dave worked it out, I'm sure I can too. A week after we started the campaign, Mikey printed this new Elamon and sent him to me. And it rules. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. <laughs> oh, carry on. Uh, drawing, re, re. <laughs> oh, we got another memory of a drawing. So you see, traveler? that these preposterous accusations you received are simply, well, preposterous. You mean the part about a dark spirit in an invisible tower? Or the part about placating it through a ritualistic human sacrifice? Both. All of it. I'm sorry you have wasted so much time and effort in coming here, traveler. No, I don't suspect I have. Your mayorship. Ooh. Look. It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. That's de drama with a beanie is definitely stuff. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. Finally got my feral friend on tape. Told you, Gabe.
I love the details of the sweat on her face. It's really good. I love it. So Not bad. Good. Kind of sparse. But I dig it. Still feel like it's missing something, though. Guess it needs a hook, but what kind? Maybe like a really poppy hook, something that makes you want to dance. Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. They call it New Eden. The greatest, most prosperous, most peaceful city in all the realms. What's wrong with it? Absolutely nothing. For in New Eden, crime is but a memory. Disease is but a myth. Pain... Yeah, there's something seriously messed up with this place. <laughs> this campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. It was genuinely my pleasure. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. Maybe a handful of these could lure the cat out of the walls. Where's a good spot to put these? Could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. Consider it a peace offering. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Not the most effective cooling system, but in this heat, I'll take anything. Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these, but not so many takers. Friggin' homophobes. If Summer were a person, she would fr- Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Okay, so there's definitely um, clues in the record. So the ice cream one will be the one. Those that look like oh. ghosts to me. Battle in me, great ruin. Okay. Happy Pride's death. Ugh, thanks. You got all the letters right. So, lesbian, gay, bi, trans. Sorry if I'm not fully into it. I know Q, I think it's queer. I'm not too sure what A is, but A, I'm pretty sure is asexual, like myself. So, I must have gone back to the ordinary one. Could be useful. Taking this to look at later. 
borrowing this for a minute. Is that ghost one? Grabbing this for reference, that's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing... So, something hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Better get code cracking. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused. Hmm. The I spy with my little eye. Let's pop this bad boy open. Oh, okay. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, uh, I've been very confused. My hmm, the I spy okay. with my little eye. I think I get it. Five. So, ghost one. Now, if hmm, those I spy with my little eye. Five um, eyes. Now, if that's not an ice cream. Hmm. Those shades, those look like ghosts to me. So two, that'll be two. Five, oh no. So two. Now if, hmm. Four. Those shades. Five and. Now if that's not an ice cream cone, three. I've been very confused my whole life. Let's pop what this bad say? boy open. Two, five, four, three. Two, five, four, and three. Damn. Oh, that wasn't it. Oh, okay. It's not. Now, if that's not an ice cream, hmm. Those shades are undeniably star-shaped. Those look like ghosts to me. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Hmm, okay. Let's pop this bad boy open. And maybe three. Oop. Guess that wasn't it either. Ooh, okay. This is. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Disconnected the, um,. Headset. Whoopsies. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those look like ghosts to me. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Uh, I'm just gonna be really mean here. How do these records turn into a combination of no- How do these records turn into- Now if- Hmm. Those look like ghosts. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Let's pop this bad boy open.
Don't know how, Finally, but it was wrong. I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. All right, let's play I can fears. finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares. Need to make sure I've read all three ads today. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. Let's take a quick ad break, kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. That you, yes you, are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters care about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse at. If you want world-class fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations though. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archeology. span That must have been some party. Oh wow, cradle snack. I think my dad had their record. Kasha ran this place for a long time. This place looks great. All good things must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table, our first pride together. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. 
To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Chloe! That's so cool! This is a drawback to Chloe! I love it! Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Oh, that's so cool. That's a, oh, that's awesome. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right. Signs are dry. Let's go. I think that's it. Uh, it'll let me know I'm in a sec of I only just got look and not put away. Uh, I only got look. Okay. I still. Oh, uh, lesbian flag. There you go. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Pride, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit! You all have made this the best Pride ever! Literally ever! We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Guess that's everything, but the flag on the front door. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. <laughs> just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. 14-year-old homo. <laughs> what the hell am I doing here? Oh, Steph. Oh, wow, that actually hurts. That she's so deeply depressed at this point in her life. It's all right. You get Alex. Ugh. All right. So now it's Halloween time. So I gotta say, this is probably a really long first episode. Pretty Steph, sure there's five. You know you can talk to me, right? About me. About anything. If there was something to talk about. It's just, you haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know?
citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga huh? of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first... Ooh. But first, another track. Very K. That's ooh, she might be distant. Okay, today. work mode, go. <laughs> yes, it hurt. Um, no. Yes. No. Who put the ram in the ram la ding dong? Okay. Oh yeah, that one's definitely upstairs early. Fuck you, app. <laughs> Fuck you. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Man, what do I even say? Freaking Violet. I haven't responded to her question yet. Who? Oh.
Shut up, guys. Be right back. False alarm. Oh, there isn't an option. Interesting. Look out for sticky meteorites. Same shit, different day. Man, it's almost like we're a real radio station now. Haven't been on top of my game lately, I guess. Psh, Kasha, you're still cool as hell. <laughs> what the hell K-pop is? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Aw, I was kind of pulling for stuff too. <laughs> Princess knife fingers. I had a lot of fun with Phi. Ugh. What is wrong with me? What the hell? Oh, fucking Valkyrie. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Oh, and I gotta read an ad too. Oh no. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for great food, great beer great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Happy hour, right? Yes, happy hour, where the already great food and beers are even cheaper, but only up. for an hour. What a deal.
And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to live music on Monday evenings or maybe Sunday evenings. If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Uh oh. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right.、Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Dang. Three weeks alone in a little box? I thought I was a boss for surviving six hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to like level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but. I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm. Okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Oh, aspiration for sure. Having total freedom, owing nothing to anyone? Sounds like the life. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into. But I can tell you this getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. I wouldn't say that. I've never left anyone without feeling bad. Ah,、uh, but feelings are portable. You can take them with you straight out of town. Hmm. So I learned this the hard way, but. The idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Don't like my riffs? Uh oh. Tell it to the devil cat. Uh oh. It was meant to be dinner hour and not happy hour. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Goo goo gaga, Steph. Oh god, Gabe's winning big time. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Hey, this chick.
I left her on red like a week ago. Damn it, Vi. Why do you have to make it complicated? Damn it, Fiona. I know you were just trying to help, but why couldn't you just mind your own business? Oh, that's what's going on. That's awesome. That's actually really dope. That's actually really cool on the references they do for Arcadia Bay. Are you breaking up with you? <sighs> Poor Steph. She's getting... Dumb left right. Gabe forgot to put professional in quotes. <laughs> professional. Got one more to add. This one's actually being a very long episode, guys. Can't find my regular phone, but oh, it's alright. Um, let's cue another album. Let's see our last one. All 
All right, let's try and read an ad. Grimley's order is Haven Springs' most trusted name in proudly serving the Haven Spring community for pricing on arts and body changes. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs. Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for a darn long time. Like since the caveman days, when you had to stick your feet through the bottom of the car and just walk real fast. That's a level of experience you can trust. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. I really hope I did that right. All right, let's continue on. <sighs> Read tools on laptop, complete radio show task, tally, add, listen to your original song. All right. Fresh goodies. Time to find your home. Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about how much we love them. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. Tally. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Replay the game. I hope I win this one too. Oh no. Watch and learn, Steph. The master is about... Continue. About to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Oh my god, gay! Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. No, no. Well, maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. She's nobody's cat, fella. She bows to no man. We have that in common. Well, maybe she should come over and play then. She can't be any worse than you. Really? Oh, for goodness sake. Damn it! Wow. Aw, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not your fault I'm unbeatable. What the hell, man? Is this table rigged? Is this a grift? I would never cheat at foosball, Steph. A foosball is a sacred right. I'm cursed. That's the only explanation. You suck, Gabe. This is what it's come to. Bribing my cat with drug. That's cool. I had a funny feeling the whole reason why she wasn't talking to people was because of Arcadia Bay. I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Found this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. Oh shit. I need to give this back. Violet gave this to me on our first date. Kind of made up for missing pride. At least at the time. No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. This is like 95% Twizzler wrappers. Fiona was amazing in this. 
Fiona was right. This game rules. Seriously thinking of how to make a session happen. Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. We can't afford 15 years of overtime. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Legends tell of a distant epoch when more than one employee's coat hung from this rack. Oh man, I'm only 20 years too late. <laughs> Hey, horse. Did you know that gummy bears are made out of horse feet? Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? This thing's really coming along. Wait, that is actually pretty dope. But wait, there's, there's more. more. Oh, the kids are. It's all a painting. Oh, the kids are wanted. Kids are wanted. Looks like some vigilante justice to me. Let's see what Ethan does with that. Sometimes I stand here and gossip about myself. Damn, Ninja Cat, I just filled this up. Country is one part heartbreak, one part liquor, and then a motherfucking fiddle that can rock. <laughs> what the hell is that? That was terrible. <sighs> Wait, which one did Gabe do again? I reckon Gabe did the ugly one. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. <laughs> I already tried rubbing his belly. Chef Betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this Bolton board. I dragged this whole ass chair out here and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Criminal. Dude was camped out here for three hours. Didn't buy a thing. On the plus side, he did leave all this shit for me to clean up. Maneho. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. Ryan says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery, and I still can't tell if he's lying. Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. Just checking out some other options. Uh Sorry, I'm actually sorry, spoilers guys, if you actually have not played the original two life like the original Life is Strange, but there's a choice in there. So I'm wondering if I chose that I didn't sacrifice Arcadia Bay, that instead this would be I actually want to do that to when I play the game again, but I hate having to choose between those two. But anyway. Again, spoilers, sorry. We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening.
<laughs> Eugene Wick supervisor, do not contact. Yeah, that's real friggin' smart. Definitely getting this one framed. Let's see what I have left. Oh, good. All of it. All right, just a few chores left. Got a caller. I should. You're on with Steph. Ah, yes. Okay. I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Uh-huh. Did you also call her toots and compliment her on her gams? It's not like that. We're friends. It was just a slip of the tongue, and now it's all blown out of proportion. I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm... Freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Ten. The most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes, they drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy... Why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Yeah. You're right. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Don't like my riffs? Tell it to the devil cat. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. Who does the monster mash? Who does the monster mash? Yep. Just right there in the store. Mash it up, get a free cone. Anyway, check it out. Still got chores to do and uh, don't like be... my riffs? Tell it to the devil cat. Store, better head out there. He did the best. The monster mash. <laughs> I, I just had to. I had to do that one. I'm like, I don't even care if it's meant to be in costume, but I'm like, stuff it. We'll do monster mash. All right. Thanks. 
found it. Oh, dope. Okay, cool. She actually framed them. I can't even imagine working the shop in the throes of beetle mania. I wonder how long it took to get the sin of hairspray and Jack Daniels out of the shop. Man, the 90s must have been a wild time to be an edgy goth dork. I can't imagine doing the same job for like four decades. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee, assuming I can get one. Been a while since I've worked on my song. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year, and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. I like it, though, so far. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Dark breakdown. Maybe I'll really bring the doom and gloom in the breakdown. So I got a reshelf comics, clean up trash, stock new releases. No, Ryan, they mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. If two or more players hatch a dragon egg card at the same time, the player with the most dragon egg cards may summon the elder dragon. If the player cannot pay the cost, the elder dragon is the, the rules are pretty darn clear. I don't. No, Ryan, they mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. That actually looks sick. This filled up like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. I can't believe this was gathering dust in the back, when it could have been gathering dust out here. You lazy piece of poop. Wait, that's actually dope. I think they're actually real comics. Because I know that's Dark Horse comics. Come on, Gingrich. Man, I was literally just about to finish up too, and then you have to go and do this. How dare you ring the the studio? You a hole. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey, hi. I've um. This is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year, since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like... 
I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. Boom, 16. Bullies are the worst, especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? She rolled pretty high. You become friends. All right. Ready to hear your future? Yeah. What is it? For a while, all you can do is hang on, and it sucks. She puts you through hell. But one day after practice, you find her... bawling her eyes out behind the bleachers. And despite yourself, you can't help but ask her what's wrong. Before long, she's spilling her whole life story, all the little hurts she carries with her, and you realize they're a lot like yours. That sounds almost impossible. I know. You keep thinking that, even as your conversation stretches past the two-hour mark. Eventually, the two of you become inseparable, and your bond strengthens the team. I mean, sounds nice. But I kind of don't buy it, you know? No offense. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Right, back to it. This one is going extremely long. This episode in general is extremely long. Alright, um so what's left? Clean up trash, stock new releases. Uh, new releases. As long as bands keep putting out actual records. I'll keep trying to sell them to actual customers. Poor Steph. Oh, poor Steph. I am so not having this right now. Last chore. Just get it done. <laughs> Halloween is just for kids, dentists. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so Steph actually was at Arcadia Bay when it hit. That's interesting, considering she was actually only, I'm pretty sure, in the before the storm. It's just like any other day. 
just like any other fucking day. Gabe. Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. <laughs> when I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Gabe, listen. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Do it. Mikey. Oh, it's Mikey. That's cool. That's actually cool. Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's... Uh... Well, you know. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign, but I like having it around. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! <laughs> <laughs> well, you got Rachel. Well. I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Even the people I didn't like. I didn't have to be so, I don't know, judgmental, I guess. Just because they're gone now doesn't change who they were. You really think you did anything wrong? I didn't do anything right. You ever talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. The two wandering weirdos. Look, Steph, what you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual camp. If I died tomorrow, this notebook would be the most comprehensive and confusing record of my life. <laughs> this thing grows more every session. 
My calm sci professor, cal the courageous and heroic warrior, Elamon. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. Fuck! Water seeping in! Roll for perception. This storm is... is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Anything from your mom? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't, though? <laughs> your position. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? You know, about Drew at the end. Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt, well, if he had any last thoughts. I guess I just accept them now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah, maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking, why don't you come? It'll be, well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away, that's how it works. But you didn't. Because he's a loyal friend. Why? Why do you think? Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. 
that's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you. If it makes you feel any better, I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. Hey, Beanie Steph. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. <laughs> How's the Black Lantern? Anyone make out with the taxidermy yet? <sighs> I don't know. I left the work so I could talk to you about something. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. Alex. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. Alex. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me. And honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So I'm calling you to ask, what's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. Don't, Don't ruin, ruin it. it. Okay. Give me a second. Excuse me. Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? but in a good way. You give her a call. She's surprised, but really glad to hear from you. You start catching up, 
and at first it's wonderful. But the more you hear about her life and what she's been doing these past seven years, the guiltier you feel. You overdo it, making all kinds of promises and all kinds of plans. You know you're pressuring her to forgive you, but you can't help it. <sighs> yeah. But then, you remember what a psychic on the radio once told you. You can't make the guilt go away. Stop trying. So you focus on her needs instead of yours, and you quickly realize she doesn't give a crap about how you feel. She cares about what you do. You decide to step up and act like the big brother you should have been. You make sure talking to you is a good part of her day. You give her advice when she wants it, and shut up when she doesn't. You talk about her future, find a place for her in your life here. And one day, you look at her in her hiking boots and Colorado sweatshirt, <laughs> laughing at something you did. And you realize you completely forgot to feel guilty. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Yes. Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Jeez, we're still going. All right, guys. We are probably going to exit this one for now. I don't know if these ones are actually split up into chapters or it's just one big long one because it kind of looks like it's one big long one. Okay, um, as I said, it kind of looks like it's a one big long one instead of just split up into chapters because it should have transitioned to another episode by now. So um, anyway, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, if you haven't been doing it, please check out when I'm on Twitch. It's also Standog Gaming. I've been streaming a lot of Dreamlight Valley, and I'm actually thinking of doing a charity stream, um, very soon. Uh, one of my good friends, Daniel, has, he's, he was in a coma. He's just come out of it. He's got a long recovery, like his memories coming back, and he's talking, he's a little bit struggling, but I'd like to, you know, help his family out, help him out. Um, he's got a GoFundMe, so if you want to help support that, I'll put the link in the subscription below. Um, any little bit of dollars help. Honestly, he's a good friend, and I really want to see him recover again. Um, without further ado, guys, you just have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, catch ya.